In this week's book summary, the writer Robin Sharma provides us with creative ideas in the field of self-development in his book The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, telling us about the story of Julian Mantel, who is one of the most powerful lawyers in the country, as he was popularly known for the huge number of cases that he won. One day, Julian fell on the ground unconscious in the middle of the courtroom number 7, due to a severe heart attack. Fortunately, he miraculously survived, and then he decided to resign from the legal profession, sell his Ferrari car and his beautiful villa, and then went to the Himalayas searching for a change in his life and searching for the land of Savannah. After the hardship of the road and the trouble of traveling, Julian was able to meet the teacher Raman, the eldest sage of Savannah and the leader of the group, who began teaching Julian the seven timeless virtues of an enlightened life. Let's find out more together through the first part of this book's summary. The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma Raman was telling a fictional story to Julian to teach him the seven virtues of a life full of inner peace, happiness and a lot of spiritual blessings. Raman asks Julian to close his eyes and then says, Imagine that you are sitting in a wonderful garden, on your right there is a wonderful lake, and on your left there are rivers and trees, and it is filled with the most spectacular flowers you have ever seen, accompanied by a feeling of peace and tranquility, and as you look around you see that in the center of this magical garden stands a towering, red lighthouse, six stories high. Suddenly, the silence of the garden is disturbed by a loud creaking as the door at the base of the lighthouse opens, and out stumbles a 9-foot-tall, 900-pound Japanese sumo wrestler who casually wanders into the center of the garden. At this moment, this sumo wrestler starts to move around the garden, he finds a shiny gold stopwatch which someone had left behind many years earlier, he slips it on, and falls to the ground with an enormous thud. The sumo wrestler is rendered unconscious and lies there, silent and still. At this moment you think he is dead, but the wrestler awakens, perhaps stirred by the fragrance of the fresh roses blooming nearby. He becomes more energetic and begins to turn left and right, then through the bushes at the very edge of the garden he observes a long winding path covered by millions of sparkling diamonds. Something seems to instruct the wrestler to take the path, and this path leads him down the road of everlasting joy and eternal bliss. Raman explains that each of the secrets of the seven virtues has a symbol that expresses them, so let's discover these secrets and symbols together. Bit to remember, never underestimate the power of simplicity, as you are walking around the garden of the mind. It is an interdependent relationship between the garden and the mind, so if you care for your mind, if you nurture it and if you cultivate it just like a fertile, rich garden, it will blossom far beyond your expectations. As a matter of fact, most good gardeners guard their gardens like proud soldiers and make certain that no contamination ever enters. But what about the toxic waste that most people put into the fertile garden of their minds every single day, the worries and anxieties, the fretting about the past, the brooding over the future and those self-created fears that wreak havoc within your inner world. To live life to the fullest, you must stand guard at the gate of your garden and let only the very best information enter. One of the methods suggested by the writer is what he called the heart of the rose. All you need for this method is a fresh rose and a silent place. Start to stare at the center and the heart of the rose, you will meet thorns along the way but if you have faith and believe in your dreams you will eventually move beyond the thorns into the glory of the flower. Stay focused on your dreams and goals and practice this ritual daily in order to be effective. The sages used to rise early in the morning and would then travel along a series of steep and narrow mountain paths which eventually led them to the lower reaches of the region they inhabited. Once there, they would walk along a barely visible trail lined with magnificent pine trees and exotic flowers until they arrived at a clearing. At the edge of the clearing was an aqua blue lake covered by thousands of tiny white lotuses. Live your life as if it is an interesting journey. There is a positive effect on the mind? Isn't it? It's an interesting journey. Now you know that the first secret, control your mind, refers to the wonderful garden. Bit to remember, unleash your capabilities, expand your imagination, control your thoughts, and remove those negative thoughts surrounding you so that you can awaken your inner power. Never forget the importance of living a life full of fun, 
and never lose sight of the wonderful beauty of all creatures. Today, and this very moment, is a gift from God, stay focused on your goal and the universe will handle everything in your life. The truly enlightened people are the ones who know what they want from their life whether emotionally, physically, mentally, and spiritually. In addition, the lighthouse in the middle of the garden indicates that your main goal is to live a meaningful life. Priorities and specific goals will play a role similar to that of the lighthouse, providing guidance and a shelter when life is not treating you so good. If you do not know what is your goal, how do you know that you have achieved it? You will become random, right? I can sum up happiness in one word, achievement. Happiness comes from working regularly towards achieving your goals and moving confidently towards your purpose in life. Do not consider the pressures of your life as a justification for failure, but rather they can motivate you to achieve great goals, as the most successful people were able to succeed despite all the pressures and challenges, but they were taking advantage of their inner capabilities. Now, it's the great lighthouse that refers to the secret follow your goals in life. Bit to remember, you should set clearly defined personal, practical, and spiritual goals, and then you should have the courage to work in order to achieve them. The sumo wrestler represents a very important element in the life-changing system of the sages of Savannah. There is a philosophy called Kaizen, it is a Japanese word means constant and never-ending improvement. Continuous improvement is based on the outer success. But how will you achieve outer success without the inner one? So it is a complementary relationship, success on the outside begins with success on the inside. The most effective way to do this is through the practice of continuous self-improvement and personal expansion. You must be brave. Courage allows you to fight your own battles. It gives you self-control. It determines your success. It allows you to achieve all your goals and overcome all the obstacles. That's why don't be afraid to take action, this is where success begins. Enlightened people feel deeply happy every day and face their fears in order to be satisfied and live in prosperity, happiness and health that they deserve. These are some rituals that are all intriguing and rich with the promise of extraordinary things in the future, the ritual of solitude, this involves ensuring that your daily schedule includes a mandatory period of peace. The ritual of physicality, it says that as you care for the body so you care for the mind. The ritual of radiant living, a poor diet has a pronounced effect on your life. It drains your mental and physical energy. It affects your moods and it hampers the clarity of your mind, so as you nourish your body, so you nourish your mind. The ritual of abundant knowledge, it centers around the whole notion of lifelong learning and expanding your knowledge base for the good of yourself and all those around you. The ritual of personal reflection, it means taking the time to get to know yourself through inner contemplation. The ritual of early awakening, rise with the sun, practice this ritual for 21 days so it becomes a daily routine. The ritual of music, it gives you a spiritual boost, and gives you happiness and joy. The ritual of the spoken word, a series of mantras, that are immensely effective in keeping focus, strength and happiness. The ritual of a congruent character, this ritual requires you to take daily, incremental action to build your character that will help you have a self-image. The ritual of simplicity, as Yogi Raman said one must never live in the thick of thin things. You must have known that the secret to practice Kaizen was symbolized by the sumo wrestler. Bit to remember, you must have known that the secret of practice Kaizen philosophy refers to the sumo wrestler, 